Hello, I'm Alison, Chief Exec of Accelerate. This video is part of a series of optimising compression therapy. In a previous video, I showed you that this type of regime where we've got a viscopaste, a paste bandage with a type 3A bandage on in a figure of eight is brilliant for a first line treatment. This is very useful for people with neuropathic pain, with vasculitis and so on, where their pain is sharp and sore and maybe even burning. This is a very conforming bandage and has less stiffness than some other regimes. So one useful thing, once you have obtained the ABPI and you can safely ramp up the compression, is to apply an additional layer of K+. This is just about knowing your bandages and knowing that a 3A plus another 3A increases the dosage of compression to a moderate level, depending again on the width of the leg. So in order to apply more compression, because we know that Faith has tolerated this bandage, that we can see improvements in the wound bed, and we all feel encouraged about tolerance of this treatment in difficult circumstances, what we can do is apply another layer of 3A. This isn't a usual treatment regime, but it is a really good way of optimizing compression therapy and ramping up. So we will apply the compression in a different direction. We've already got quite a lot to her foot, so I can go straight to her ankle and again, apply it in a figure of eight. Now, if again, you're ramping up this compression and you know the patient in front of you and the limb, then you may want to just spiral up. So you've got a figure of eight layer and then you've got a spiral. Or if you're both feeling confident that this was tolerated and you can cope with that additional pressure, you may want to do um, an additional um, figure of eight. So for Faith today, I'm just going to go up in a spiral bandage, that's lovely. And again, you're looking at 50% overlap for this bandage and at a good um, level of squeeze. And what you're wanting to do is to make sure that you've got some firmness here, okay? So you can feel the tension on your fingers. And so here we have a very effective compression regime. It may not still be at the level that's required, but this is part of the ramping up of compression. Compression regimes are difficult to tolerate, especially in the presence of pain and vasculitis and neuropathic pain. So we've got to just keep tweaking compression and working up to the optimal therapeutic value.